He's had over 50 top 40 hits, and if you are a fan of Lowe, you know those songs like the back of your hand. Grammy, Tony, and Emmy Award winner Barry Manilow is hitting the road one last time, kicking off his tour in Omaha on Wednesday. It's a pleasure to catch up this morning. Barry, how are you? Hi, hi there, Mary. You know, this is the second time that we have kicked off our tour in Omaha. That says something for that audience that, you know, they, they are so great that, uh, that we can start our tour in Omaha. So I'm looking forward to it. Are you looking forward to this tour overall? And have you had some fun putting it together? I have. You know, this year, since it's the 40th anniversary of Mandy, that means I've been on the road. I have been touring. I have been roaming the earth for 40 years. And, uh, <laughs> and so, you know, this is the end of the big tours. So I'm trying to put as many of the big hits into this show as I can fit. I'm one of the lucky guys that has a very big catalog of, of famous songs. So I'm trying to use as many as I can in this show. So how will you incorporate your dream duets? Well, <clears throat> we have four videos that we made that I can actually sing with. Not only you, can you hear their gorgeous voices, but you can see them uh, singing uh, behind me on a screen. And, uh, you know, I'm doing uh, the Whitney Houston duet, which it turned out to be so beautiful. This Dream Duets album was really quite an engineering marvel. We took old records and got rid of the orchestra, put brand new orchestras on it, and made them into duets, which they never were. And it really was quite an incredible experience, and uh, it's quite an incredible album. Why did you want to tour again? Was there still a connection? to be made with fans? Well, certainly, I love the fans. And I love the, you know, when that red curtain opens and you hear this roar of approval, it couldn't be more exciting. You've got to be dead not to, not to just be so grateful and excited about it. Uh, so that's one reason. Uh, you know, I, I would like to say goodbye and thank you to all the people who have been so, so great to me. Barry, we gave our viewers an opportunity to ask questions, and Keith wonders, how did you get your start in the music industry, and who was your greatest influence? Well, I got my start as a piano player and an arranger. I arranged music for people. Uh, that's what was going to happen to me in my head. I was gonna, if I lucked into uh, becoming uh, successful, it would be in the background. Uh, the biggest surprise for me was becoming a solo artist. I never planned on that. And as far as who is my favorite artist, singer, they always wind up to be in the background like I was going to be. People like Nelson Riddle, the arranger, Nelson Riddle, these are people that I admire. George Martin, who created the Beatles, who did all their background stuff. Those are the people that I always gravitate towards. You mentioned kicking off a second tour in Omaha. What is it about the city, this venue, the fans here that appeals to you? Um, it, it, like I said, this was this is the second time that we're that we're opening our show, and you know, this, they will forgive me when I make mistakes because I will on the first show. You know, that we all will, and that's one of the things that I guess Omaha does for me. Uh, they are a great audience. They are very very enthusiastic, and if I kind of you know forget something, they forgive me, and uh, that's very important to an artist. Thanks, Barry. We look forward to seeing you in Omaha in a few days. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye, dear.